Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudemir here again today with the Hike Vision port forwarding video. Very interesting. If you want to connect to your Hike Vision camera remotely from your cell phone, from a laptop, you can use port forwarding. So here I have the camera via web browser, as you can see. And let me just explain with the diagram the way it works. So I have the camera connected to the router and the router is connected to the internet. And here is my local network with my laptop or my PC, it's here. So basically when I type here in a web browser the IP camera address, I can access the camera directly, okay? They are in the same network here. As you can see, again, here I have my camera. Here is the IP address. I just type here in a web browser. I can access internally just because my computer is in the same network here. So back to the diagram. Now I want to access remotely from the laptop, from the smartphone that are connected to the internet. They are not in the same network here. They're in a different network. So basically the smartphone needs to come from the internet, arrive to the router. And here I have to, to include some rules to tell the router to redirect the traffic from the internet to my IP camera. And that is the port forwarding. Make some rules here. The router can understand and redirect the traffic to my IP camera. And I need to have the correct port here and we're gonna set it up this on the camera. Let me show here what I mean. So basically when I try to access locally using the IP address, the, the web browser by default is going to use the port 80. It's not showing up here, but it's port 80. Here's the IP and then there's the port 80. When I talk about ports, I'm talking about logical ports, okay? Not physical ports, so port 80. Let me show you here what I mean. So in configuration, come to your camera, network, basic settings. Here I have the port numbers. On TCP IP, you have the IP of the camera, as you can see. And on port, I have the port number, it's, which is 80. The browser assumes 80 by default, but I'm gonna change this to 8081, okay? And save, that's the idea, because now, here, when I include the rule on the router, I'm gonna say to the router, when the connection comes to the port 8081, I can redirect the camera because the, the camera is now using 8081. So pretty simple, okay? And right now I'm just changing the port here on the camera. Later, I'm gonna change, uh, gonna include the configuration on the router, all right? So 8081, working now. If I come here to live preview again, now, I cannot reach the camera anymore. Why? Because it's not using the port 80 anymore. So I need to remove this and type 8081 as the port for the camera now, as you can see. And then I enter my username and password. And here you go, connected to the camera. I just changed the port, you see 8081 here in the top, okay? That's important to understand, okay? So if you wanted to understand how port forwarding works, you need to understand the logic behind this port 8081. Let's change it here. Now I include the, a rule on my router using port 8081. Any request to this port 8081 will be redirected to the camera, okay? So second step here then is to go to my router. So I have the router, I have the router in my network. I come to advanced and port forwarding. That'll be different on your router, of course. You need to for look for a port forwarding. And here I need to add a new rule. Let me say, let me say here, um, input here the IP of the camera, which is 64, ending in 64. Hit add here. Oh, I need to log into my router again because it times out. Here we go, it's updating the settings. And now I have here my rule, but it's, it's not the right one, right? When I include here, I need to change it. So let me just edit. It's trying to use like a rule for FTP service. It's not the case here. Let me just include here my hike vision camera and port 8081. And here 8081, okay? To my camera, that's the IP64 and from any external IP address. So what basically I'm doing here, 
back to the diagram is including a, a rule here that says every time there's a connection to the port 8081 here in the external port of the router, what's coming from the internet, there's a connection to the 8081 redirects to the camera to port 8081 as well. So I have the camera's IP and port here in this row. Back here, you can see port 881 and camera's IP. That's the information that I need, right? I already changed it there on the camera, I'm okay. And I changed it here on the router, I'm okay. So I hit apply. Wait for it to update. There we go, I have the rule in place. So as you can see here, high vision camera, port 8081, uh, coming from any device on the internet. There's no limitation. I can connect from anywhere on the internet and the internal IP address, this is the camera's IP address. Okay, so I'm ready to go. Now let's come here to my phone. I'm connecting to a different network. So I'm coming basically from the internet. Uh, you can also use uh, your 3G connection, your 4G, 5G connection, whatever. And then when I come here, I need to type the camera's IP address, right? But the external IP address, okay? Just make sure you understand the part. I'm coming here from my cell phone connected to the internet and I need to type this external IP address here because there is no way to connect directly to the camera via the internet. This IP address that I have internally here is, is not allowed on the internet doesn't work on the internet. Here's for my internal network. So I need to know the external IP here, okay? I can check that on my router. So here on my router, on the advanced part, I can find the IP address. Here we go, okay. Or I can use a service like IP Chicken, for example. Let me just show you guys. Here, you come to the internet on this ipchicken.com and you type, just type ipchicken.com, okay? And uh, the service is going to find the IP that you're using right now on your router. So back here to the diagram. Basically, I know the IP that's here okay, on my router. And that's what I have to type here on my smartphone. Okay, now I have the IP address that I need to type here on my cell phone. Here we go. I uh, already have this information here because I was testing before. So this is the IP address of the router, external IP address colon port 8081, which means I'm trying to connect to my camera. So I type in here on the cell phone, the IP address of the router, colon 8081, which means I want to be redirected to this IP camera, okay? So back here in the phone I have here, and just hit go. And here you go, I have the information here uh, the screen for the high vision camera and I can log in. Okay, so basically it already redirecting to my internal IP camera. I can type the username and password here. And click on go. And here you go. So I have the menu on the right side here, supposed to have the image, but the browser does not support on the cell phone, the high vision camera but it works if you are like just using a browser that supports that or the camera supports this technology, okay? So that's the way it works. As you can see here, the smartphone is already connecting to my router, redirecting to my IP camera and it's working, okay? Let's do another example here with a different camera. Let's say I'm using here now Axis camera. Okay, same idea. So here I have the IP of the camera. Let's just go faster now and go to settings, system. Of course, it's different because it's access camera. Here on TCP IP, I can find the camera's IP address. Here you go, that's the camera IP address, but I don't have the information about ports here. On access camera is different. I can come here to security. So here we go, the port for access camera, 8082. Uh, at first it's 80 as well, but I just changed it to 8082 because I was testing before. The idea is to be different from the high vision camera. So what I can do is come back to my router and again, go to advanced, advanced settings, port forwarding and create a rule there. Let's create a rule for this camera now. It's 52, the IP address. I'm gonna add this rule and change it so I can have access remotely. Here we 
go. Select here, edit service to change it. Access camera. Port 8082. Again, repeat here, 8082. And from anywhere on the internet. Okay, apply this rule. Ready to go. Access camera now, 8082 to 052, the IP address. So now back to the diagram, the smartphone, when I type the router IP address, I can type different ports, right? Same IP address, but different ports. 8081 goes to high vision camera. 8082 goes to the other one that's somewhere here in the network. That's the access camera, okay? So let me do that uh, using my cell phone. Let me just come back here and show you guys that, that I'm talking about this access camera here, right? Okay, back here into the cell phone. Let's type the external IP address again. Here we go. I have the external IP address. That'll be the port for high vision. That's not the case now. Let's type the port for access camera. Okay. And here we go. It's already redirection. It's connected to the camera. So the router received the information now for the port 882 and tries to connect to the camera. It does the port forwarding and send the information from the internet to the camera. And I can remotely connect to the camera. Okay. As I typed the username before, I can directly connect to the camera without username and password because I already cached here on my cell phone. As you can see, I have the image from the camera. I can just move my hand in front of the camera here. You see it's working for the cell phone. In this case, the web browser can see the camera because Axis has a technology that works with any web browser, even on cell phones without a plugin. Okay, with high vision doesn't work. So you can have remote access via web browser, but you cannot see images on high vision. But you can do port forwarding as well for uh, your high connect if you want to. And then you can uh, enable a different port there and see working with the, your high vision camera as well. But the idea is to understand how port forwarding work at first, and then you can do as well with uh, software, okay? And I can show you how you can do with the software in a different video that I have here in this channel, all right? So that's all for today. Subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next video.